Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Danielle Scruggs. Still with me in the studio are Marcia Evers-Levy and Kitty Gross from the St. Louis Jewish Book Festival. Can you tell us about the event coming up in April as well? We're so excited. Moshe Kasher is coming to St. Louis with his book, Kasher in the Rye. And it's on April 15th, Sunday evening in the at 7 p.m. Okay. And it's still at the JCC, the Jewish Community Centers. Alrighty, now what do we have to look forward to for that event? What gets you so excited about it? <laughs> well, Moshe is a great comedian. A lot of people know him from Comedy Central and Chelsea Lately and The Daily Show. Um, he is a very dry wit. Uh, so plan on a lot of humor, a lot of laughter, a lot of rolling in the aisles with him. Okay. And uh, we look forward to it. The book's not even out yet, so I'm waiting to see the book. Alrighty. Now, who are some of the authors that came in November? Ooh. It was a good two weeks, it was. three it authors was really a day. Outstanding. Wow. <laughs> Some of our authors were, for instance, uh, Koki Roberts and her husband Steve Roberts. They wrote a Haggadah, which is one of the books that is used during Passover. And they are a blended family, which means that he's Jewish and she's not. Mm -hmm. And they have made this book so that it accommodates everybody can feel comfortable in her house, in their house. Wow. We had uh, other authors that came. Uh, we had Alan Arkin. Alan Arkin. He was our keynoter for the evening. He opened up for us that evening on November 7th. Right. Okay. And he had written his memoir about winning Oscars and acting and uh, winning, let's see, Emmys and Tonys and yes. everything else he had won. Uh, we also had David Javerbaum, the former executive producer of The Daily Show. Mm -hmm. had a fabulous, funny, funny night. We were laughing a lot then. Um, Martin Fletcher from NBC News was there. Um, we had just fiction, nonfiction, um, comedy, a little bit of everything. We had sports. Um, Sean Green, uh, formerly of the, sorry, I'm very bad at baseball, um, <laughs> formerly of the New York Mets, uh, and then also from the uh, LA Dodgers, uh, was there to talk about his career in baseball. And he was interviewed by Howard Magdahl, who writes for ESPN.com. So we had a sports night. We had a program on health with Dr. Arthur Agatston, who is the founder of the South Beach Diet. Mm -hmm. Talked about people getting healthy and how to do that, which fit in perfectly because the festival is a program of the Jewish Community Center. And the Jewish Community Center not only has the arts, as in the festival, the book festival, a film festival, and a theater, but it has an enormous fitness facility and does a lot of programming to help people of all ages um, seniors, children, adults, teens, uh, get fit and stay fit. Yes, that was very appropriate. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, fit in very well. Definitely. Now, when it all boiled down, how did you pick from all of those great authors? What was it? Was it a name that had? I'm sure it wasn't that, but how do you choose between it, so many great people? It's very hard. We, we try to have something for everyone. Mm -hmm. So we try to look at books that cover different topics. Mm -hmm. um, we try to look at books that would appeal to different age groups that will appeal to men and women. Um, we had a teen program with Ellen Schreiber. She writes um, teen vampire and werewolf romance novels. So think <laughs> Twilight, but yes. just a little younger. Um, so we were uh, getting something for the teenagers. And uh, then we do a family program. So it's something for everything and, so, excuse me, something for everyone. for everyone. And then topics that people are looking for, uh, plus melded with books that are new and hot off the press, so to speak. Definitely, and the Gabby Gifford story is... Hot off the press. Definitely, you want to know how she's doing because she's doing great. Absolutely. Definitely. Now we're going to wrap up your events again. We're gonna go with the first, Hercules. Kevin Sorbo, okay. December 15th, 7.30 p.m. It's at the Jewish Community Center in Creve Corps. Mm -hmm. And for more information, people can call the hotline, which is 314-442 three two nine nine or they can go to our website uh, the festival's website is st stl jewish book org, and there's information there uh, tickets will also be available at the door if they don't get them in advance and the event is sponsored by st luke's hospital st luke's hospital right. okay and then the second event january january 22nd we have jeffrey zaslow at plaza frontenac that is a sunday afternoon and tickets also can be purchased the same on the hotline or on the website. And there will be more information coming out about that event in just the next couple of weeks. There will be flyers and posters and information on the website. 
uh, for that, but it'll be a very, very fun event. Um, and Avi Noam Lori, the family event, which is at the zoo, February 5th. It is taking place at the Living World. It will be in the Anheuser-Busch Theater there. Okay. It is in partnership with the St. Louis Zoo. And then we have Susan Elliott. Correct. Susan Elliott is at the Jewish Community Center. And then April, uh, Moshe Kasher, back at the Jewish Community Center. Alrighty. Now we want to thank you very much for being here. I enjoy speaking with both well, of you, you all. Thank you. Thank you. And remember to keep up with STL TV and all of the great events going on around St. Louis. Friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can always watch us streaming live on STLTV.net. We'll be back right back with more from Karen Hill. Thank you.